Good morning, uh, Charlie Bloomfield from Bridgery at Canandra. Uh, just thought I'd take a couple of minutes to explain our landmarking process and what treatments we're using this year. Uh, many other land producers are marking their lambs at this time, so I thought it might be of interest and uh, run through some of the things we're trying this year uh, with our program. We start on Monday, uh, we'll be marking about 3,000 lambs. and. Uh, we bring lambs in in different mobs with their mothers uh, in twinning groups and single lamb groups um, to mark them and record the results against our scanning figures uh, so we know how successful we have been and, and the ewes have been in carrying a lamb uh, from scanning uh, through to marking. Um, we'll then also take some details at weaning to make sure that those lambs have gone from marking through to weaning. Um, we keep progress of the ewes, whether they're wet or dry when they come in at lamb marking. And then also uh, if any have lost their lamb from marking uh, through to weaning, uh, we keep a record of those too. Um, each of the lambs gets a NILS uh, electronic ID tag uh, to keep track of their weights. Um, and what treatments they've received over time. We keep track of all the batch numbers and expiry dates of any chemical vaccine uh, that they receive. This year, uh, all our lambs will receive a Glanvac 6-in-1 B12. Um, so that's to keep uh, any uh, nasties at bay, including, including particularly cheesy gland and um, uh, pulp of kidney, um, which can be an issue. B12, just we find that really sort of peps them up a bit as well. It's like going to the doctor and getting a B12 shot when you've got the flu. Uh, we also give them a shot of Aravac, uh, which warns off um, uh, arthritis in lambs. Um, so they get two, two shots um, of vaccine. This year, we're also using a product uh, called Num Nuts, and the, the drug is uh, Numacane. Um, that provides a uh, pain relief um, for a number of days. This is injected um, uh, when you put the ring on the male lambs. Um, and we also mules our ewe, uh, ewe lambs. Uh, we haven't found an alternative to mulesing just yet. Um, we're not 100% um, uh, convinced of the studs breeding out uh, wrinkles on the breech. Um, so we do still mules until we can find a solution, uh, but we use two forms of pain relief. One being that numb nuts, uh, which is longer lasting. And then also trisulfan, uh, which is applied topically after the procedure. Um, we keep the mulesing as lightly as possible, um, but we found last year uh, when we use trisulfan as a topical pain relief and then we use an injectable uh, pain relief as well. That gave um, the pain and anti-inflammatory anti benefits for sort of three days and we found that the lambs really bounce back after lamb marking. Um, we also apply uh, some click extra um, which keeps the, keeps the flies away um, from those lambs while they heal up. Um, and generally last year we found really good results um, from all of those. Our lambs uh, really bounced forward after marking and put on a lot of weight. Uh, we put our lambs back with uh, their mothers for four to five weeks after marking before we wean them. Um, with the EID tags we take a sample of the lambs and we weigh them as well um, to work out um, what their weight was at that time and then we take a weight at weaning and we can see uh, how well those lambs have progressed over that four to five week period and then from weaning it's up to us to give them as best as possible uh, conditions to thrive. Um, so we're looking forward to getting into landmarking this year. We've got a fantastic season. It's a beautiful change after four to five years of shocking drought. Um, out at Haddon Rig at Warren we're actually trialling not mulesing uh, this entire drop of our pole uh, ewe merino lambs. Um, so that will require some extra management. Um, we'll likely be crutching them twice um, and then providing them additional treatments of, of click to keep fly away um, and we'll monitor them and see how it goes and provide all the information and data um, as we proceed through the, through the first 12 months of their life. Um, the treatments that we give here uh, added up works to be, works out to be about six dollars um, per lamb. So you know, if um, some producers think it's too expensive to give uh, topical and injectable pain relief, um, I just don't believe that. Like a $6, $6 investment in a lamb 
um, to cover all of your vaccines and treatments uh, is next to nothing when um, when those lambs are worth you know circa two hundred dollars at the moment uh, at a sale price. So good luck to everyone this year for their lamb marking, and we're we're looking forward to getting into it. Thanks.